Hi everyone, and welcome to the Shinobi Controls YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how quick and easy it is to create a pie chart using Shinobi Charts and Swift. In less than six minutes, you'll have an interactive iOS chart, identical to the one you can see now. To create our pie chart, we'll open a new project in Xcode, use the Single View application template, and ensure the development language is set to Swift as that's what we'll be using in this video. We first need to drag the Shinobi Charts framework into our project. The framework requires libc++ as a dependency. We'll need to set up a bridging header so that it can be used in Swift. The framework comes with a bridging header included, so we can simply edit the project's build settings to point to the file. We'll use a storyboard to help us develop our application. We drag a UI view onto the view controller's main view. Set the class to be of type Shinobi Chart, and add some very simple auto layout constraints to pin the chart to the edge of the screen. The final storyboard step is to create a new IB outlet so we can reference our chart within viewcontroller.swift. We'll need some data to display within the pie chart. For this video, we already have some sample data about the most popular programming languages. This class has a single method, generate, which returns an array of language structs. We'll store this array in a property that is set when the view controller is instantiated. Now we can add the data to our chart. To do this, We'll extend the view controller to conform to SChart data source. Those familiar with UIKit should feel pretty comfortable as it works in a similar manner to data sources used within Apple's framework. We simply want to display a single pie series with some basic styling. We'll adjust the font size of the slice labels make the slice animate out of the center when selected, and also enable panning on the series so users of the app can interact with the chart. To pass data to the series, we need to notify the chart how many data points to display in our single series, and then return the individual data points. After doing all that, all that's left to do is to set the chart's data source. By default, the labels displayed within the center of each slice show the value of the data point. In this case, we want to display the name. Fortunately, this is simple to do using one of the chart's many delegate methods. The one we're after is alter label for data point at slice index. In the method body, we'll simply swap the label's text for the name of the data point. As with the data source, we set the chart's delegate to self. All that's left to do now is to run the application in the simulator. You can see when a slice is selected, it animates outwards and then back in when deselected. We can also spin the pie series. And that's it. It's simple to create a pie chart using our iOS controls. So why not download a free 30-day trial at www.shinobicontrols.com. You'll find the link in the description below as well.